Red Bull are currently going through a period in which they're very likely to face permanent repercussions. And even though Horner and Verstappen called for inner peace to be implemented, that doesn't seem to be the case after all. This situation could be used by teams like Ferrari and Mercedes, who've gone on to poach star from Red Bull, and the highest member on the list is Adrian Newey, who's been offered an unbelievable and very hard to deny offer from the Maranello team. With this in mind, could the internal affair at Red Bull destroy the team? And more importantly, what does it mean for its future? Now, the 2024 season started with a shocking accusation revolving around Christian Horner, and that's made things even worse for the current champions due to the fact that it caused a domino effect to the point of Adrian Newey, Pierre Walchet, Enrico Balbo, as well as Max Verstappen, all being related to leaving the team. Right now, the turmoil in Red Bull is very closely monitored by Ferrari, the team that's been working in the background when it comes to hiring very important high-profile engineers in order to ensure that the Hamilton Leclerc project won't go in vain and they'll win a championship for the first time since 2008. Ferrari's current offer to Newey is something that you can't even think about. He's been offered a blank check and given the opportunity to choose his own working conditions if he is to join the Maranello team. On top of that, there are reports from the renowned site Auto Motor und Sport that the Brit engineer is very dissatisfied with the current chemistry in the team and that Horner has been focused on putting Newey out of the F1 plans and putting him solely on the RB17 supercar project. This isn't hard to believe, given the fact that Newey hasn't been given a lot of praise from Horner when it comes to the car's design. Even though we know who stands behind all of the massive success that the team has endured from 2022 onwards. But when it comes to this matter, it's yet to be decided whether Newey would follow the footsteps of his colleague from Mercedes, Loic Serra, as Ferrari has been labelled as a challenge that he never gets to embark in his career and something he regrets to this day. But since it's never too late, Newey could be bringing a vast contingent of engineers with him to the Maranello team, and we should be expecting a lot of developments in this scenario because Red Bull confirmed that both Verstappen and Marco, as well as Horner, are remaining on their positions, which is the perfect formula for the internal turmoil to continue in Red Bull. Now, Adrian Newey has been an integral part of Red Bull ever since 2006, so to put him solely on the hypercar project just to avoid the budget cap restrictions is definitely not something that he would want to hear happening to his career at this point of Red Bull's dominance. For those of you who don't know, the three highest paid members of an F1 team are excluded from the rules and the restrictions of the budget cap, meaning that if Newey is to embark on this journey set by Horner, it would definitely mean he would be looking for an F1 challenge elsewhere, possibly Ferrari. The fractures in Red Bull are now more than evident. The first one is the Thailand side that backs Horner to continue doing what he currently does, while the second one, the Austrian side, is more happy with keeping Verstappen and Marco on the team and appoint another team principal and a CEO of the racing branch of Red Bull. However, Horner has been adamant when it comes to the wants and needs of the team, as he went on to say that no individual is bigger than the team and that he is the leader, meaning that everybody else should follow his lead. Horner also implied that anybody could do what Verstappen is doing with the car, so he's not that concerned when it comes to Verstappen's departure from the team, which then again is a direct offence to the legacy of the three-time world champion, as we saw what Perez is doing in the same car compared to the Dutchman. Situations like this definitely have the potential to turn things into more dramatic scenarios, and all of that could see lots of engineers and high-profile members leaving the team sooner rather than later. Obviously, the engineers in Red Bull know quite a lot when it comes to building an aerodynamic machine, and even though the rest of the grid adopted the RB19's philosophy, Red Bull checkmated everyone by implementing Mercedes' design and showing how much potential lies in it if you know how to utilize it properly. But 2026 is right around the corner, and Mercedes and Ferrari are dubbed to be the leaders once the engines take over and the electrification of the cars is emphasized, with the battery being increased to 300 kilowatt hours of power input. Then again, Horner remaining in the position of team principal doesn't fix all of the issues for Red Bull until 2026. And while it's safe to assume that he is the right man to do the job in the new regulation era under Ford's badge, 
Given the fact that he's won 13 championships with the team since he joined them from day one in 2005, there are strong beliefs that in order for Verstappen to remain in the team, Horner needs to leave. This has been emphasized quite a lot of times by Jos Verstappen, who went on to throw yet another cheap shot at the team principal of Red Bull, further adding, I sympathize with the woman, with all that she went through, but we will see what happens with Horner. It's a bit too late to draw the line right now, even though that's what Horner wants, but I don't think it will be possible. I don't want to talk too much more as it will create problems, but the most important thing for me is that Max is happy. That's what counts for me. I just want for him to be happy. But all these things that are going on are having an influence on Max. He was third in the first practice and all we hear about is Horner and what happened with the situation. In the press conference Horner gave the other day, it was all about him and his problems when we should be talking about Max, the car, his performance and the race. I've already said it, I think it's causing problems if he stays. As of now, the primary issue for Red Bull lies in the fact that Horner believes he is the centerpiece of the team, even though he's firmly stated that there is no individual who's above the culture of the squad and that every man plays his role. And Max is merely a driver who is scoring great results thanks to a great car that's been given to him. While there is certain truth here, it's safe to assume that Horner is walking on a thin line and is definitely pushing his most valued peers to their absolute limits of taking their talents elsewhere and showing Horner that just because he's the team principal and the CEO of the team, there'll be nothing without them. On top of that, rumours have been swirling that Red Bull have already picked Alex Albon to replace Max Verstappen if he is to leave the team from 2025 onwards, as the Dutchman said that it's highly important for him to stay with the squad alongside Marco due to the high loyalty he has for the veteran Austrian. Max feels like Marco is the one who built the team from scratch along with Dietrich Mateschitz, and the fact that Horner tried to take a big part of the ownership from the Austrian side after the passing of Dietrich goes to show that maybe he's not this innocent person we're perceiving him to be when it comes to creating the drama in the inside circles of Red Bull. With all this in mind, tough times come for Red Bull, but teams like Ferrari and Mercedes could benefit a lot. After all, Formula 1 is a sport that relies massively on staff moving left and right, and it's up to Red Bull to prove that they have the chemistry and the cohesive environment to get through these tough times together. But if Horner is to remain in this position, which has been confirmed by both the Austrian and Thailand side, and so is the Verstappen clan backed by Marco, more internal issues will follow, and that would inevitably create a situation in which Verstappen would be prompted to leave for Mercedes just to show Red Bull that they're nothing without him. So, do you think that the crisis in Red Bull has the potential to put the team down in its grave? And more importantly, who do you think is to be blamed for the current situation in the Austrian squad? Let us know in the comments down below.